I'm not gonna lie. Trying to find an apartment on a budget in Taipei is kind of a pain in the ass. And this is because it's crowded here. There's 2.7 million people in this city. It's the capital city, and this is where everyone wants to be. Don't worry because in this video I'll show you how you can search the local sites here in Taipei so that you can get the best deal on an apartment. But first let's start out with a tour of my apartment. So this is a place that I rented for 18,000 NT which is just under 600 USD. It's a two bedroom place. It's right in downtown, just about four minutes away from the MRT. Has a balcony out here. And over here, it has a little kitchen area. Here is the room that I'm currently using as an office. I just moved in here about a week ago, so still waiting on some furniture. And it also has a second bedroom here, which is kind of messy. I might turn this into an Airbnb. I haven't really decided yet. So when you're renting an apartment in Taipei or Taiwan, you basically have two options. You can do Facebook groups, which is the easiest. Um, basically just search in the name of the city and the word apartment and a bunch of groups will show up. I'll also put a link down to this one in the description below. And you can scroll through this just to see what's available. A lot of things are people wanting to end their contract early and they want someone to take over their room. So single room in a shared apartment for 11,000. And so you can see, okay, you get a single room just like that. And a lot of times you'll be able to get a short term deal. Okay, three months, not bad. And you'll just get a room in an apartment. But if you want to try the local sites, what I recommend is this one called 591. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. And so it's all in Chinese, but you can just right click on it, translate it to English. Um, I'm doing that with the Chrome browser. And what I like to do is this map room search. And so that way we can see exactly the area that we want to live in. And you can also put in your price here. So. Basically 10,000 NT is about 300 US. So this would be three to 600, this would be six to 900. So you can figure out your budget and we'll just go ahead and do six to 900. And let's say, okay, we wanna live in Shilling District. So we'll kinda go in here and see what we can find here. Uh, you can look here for some places or if you wanna be, okay, really close to the MRT. Let's see what this one's like. Uh, we'll go ahead and translate this again. And so they do this thing where they measure the apartments in ping. Basically one ping is 35 square feet. So anything less than 10 ping will be very small, like a studio. Um, and 15 ping is a decent size. So we'll click on that. And so that yeah, this looks pretty nice. Uh, translate that again. And we can see, okay, this is newly renovated, warm suite in prime location, brand new furniture. So that, that all sounds pretty good. Uh, scroll down, scroll down here a little bit, and okay, 15 ping, 21,000, not too bad. And it's also being sold by the owner, or sorry, by being rented out by the owner. So that's good news because you won't have to pay any agent fees. And so we can click here at the pictures and see, okay, very nice new bathroom, decent room, and even has a living room like that. So pretty nice looking place, no kitchen, but overall pretty decent and so if you find a place that you want to rent what i recommend doing is texting the owner in chinese and you can go down to the description of this video copy and paste exactly what i wrote down send this to the owner and this will give you the best chance of getting a good deal on an apartment from there you can have a simple conversation using google translate and set up a time to go see the apartment if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.